Welcome family to week three of Like Me. My name is Fonzo Cherry, one of your youth leads. And we're just gonna go ahead and pray in real quick before we jump into the word. Eyes closed, head bowed if possible. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for allowing us to be here today, O oh Father God, to allow us to um, view you, O oh Father God, through YouTube, through this um, tool, O oh Father God. We just ask you right now that you allow the, the people that listen to this, O oh Father God, to be blessed, O oh Father God. If it's our youth, O oh Father God, bless them from the ins to the outs, O oh Father God. If it's their parents watching, O oh Father God, we just ask you to protect them, O oh Father God. Even, do, even during this time of COVID-19, O oh Father God, we just ask you that you plant a seed so strong into them, O oh Father God. We ask you right now, Father God, allow me to decrease so that you, you can increase in me, O oh Father God, as I deliver this word for you, O oh Father God. In your mighty and matchless name we pray, amen and amen. So I can recall a time when I wanted to be like someone. And this someone was a coach. His name was Coach Brown. And I was a freshman at Dr. Phillip High School. I can never forget it. And um, I wanted to be like him. He was so athletic. He was so tall. He was so big and athletic. And I just wanted to be more like him. And I, I waited for this moment during our tryouts for freshmen. And I, I, I was playing my hardest that I ever played, hoping that he would notice me. And I came to a realization that he never even wanted to see me. He didn't like me. He didn't want to be that kid that, hey, let me try to help this guy out. He was more inspired to look at the tall athletes. And I began to sit down and I, I noticed it. And I, I questioned myself, if maybe, if maybe I was taller, if maybe I was more strong in the sense that I could lift up people, or maybe if I was faster, he would recognize me. And I know it sounds crazy, I get it. But have you ever thought about that? If maybe, if maybe I were taller, if maybe I was skinnier, the girls in my high school would look at me different. Maybe if I was beautiful or I had this certain look to my hair, maybe I'd be in this clique or this group of friends. Or maybe if I, I, I was able to drive this nice car, maybe my friends would accept me. Or even your family, if you were a lot smarter, would they recognize you? I know we get to these kind of questions in, in our minds where, hey, if I can do this, maybe I'll get the acceptance and approval from other people. But I'm gonna break down today why that mindset is a bad mindset. So we're gonna go on to the first thing here. We compare ourselves to others. And what do you mean by that, Fonzo? What do you mean by comparing ourselves to others? It simply means that you're trying to do something that's not of you. You wanna be more like the person that's next to you. You're always chasing that person. Hey, I, I wanna be like LeBron. I get that you wanna be like LeBron, but what does it look like for you? How do you wanna look like? And we, we get to this mindset that we're always trying to be better than this person. But at the same time, there's always gonna be a next. There's always gonna be someone that's always better. Let's, let's look at it in basketball. We had Michael Jordan. He was the pinnacle of the NBA. But as soon as he retired, there was always another person that was gonna take that lead, and that was Kobe. And then it goes on again. Now it's LeBron James, and that's arguable, but I still agree that he is. But I, I want you guys to get out of that mindset of always trying to compare yourself to other people because there's always gonna be someone that's always better. The second point that I wanna to prove to you guys about this mindset of if maybe or if only is the, the fact that we always wanna compare ourselves to ourselves. Fonzo, what do you mean by that? Comparing ourselves to ourselves, really? Yeah, we often do that a lot. We always kinda of like set this, um, this line, this invisible line where, oh man, I'm gonna do this. And you reach, you reach it, but then for some reason you set another line and then you set another line and you're, ne you're never satisfied, you're never enough. And that's the thing that we kind of really want to focus on is the fact that we're, we're not enough. And the, the fact that we don't feel like we're not enough is the moment where we kind of mess up the mindset of if only. And you fall into the situation called the no win. You're not winning because you're always constantly putting yourself up and up and up and you're never feeling that appetite of, hey, I'm full because you're always hungry for more. So we're going to jump into the, the wisest man of all that we've read in this book right here for Rome's. It's Paul. Paul was so wise and so smart that he wrote a letter to the Romans. And we're gonna kind of dive into the, the aspect of why it's not okay to be like others. So the first thing here, it says here, Romans chapter 12, verse two, A, don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world. Let me read that again for you. It says here, don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world. What is Paul saying? He's not saying not to be like others. 
not to emulate, not to have the nice, nice basketball moves like LeBron James. He's not saying not to be aspired to be a leader like Martha Luther King. He's not saying that. He's just saying to have your, your own mindset when it comes to certain things. You, you, wanna, you wanna be indifferent. You wanna be, hey, I, I'm, I'm a different person. I get that you're doing this, but I, I'm gonna walk in my own lane. That's what Paul is kind of highlighting here. And then he goes to say this in Romans chapter 12, verse two, letter B. He says this, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think. I'm gonna read it again. It says here, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think. And I'm trying to highlight this for you because he's not, he's not wanting you to stay stuck. You're, you're different. So why would you want to stay stuck in this old mindset of how you're looking at others? He wants you to have this thinking of, hey, I'm better. I, I'm, I'm okay the way that I am because God has made you. So then he encourages us to, to do this. In verse um, chapter 12, verse 2, Romans, it says here, Then you will learn to know God's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect. So it's kind of like the example that I know you heard from your mom, your dad, your father, or even your close friends that, that say this, oh, just because Billy jumped off a bridge, you're gonna jump off a bridge too? That's what kind of Paul is kind of highlighting that you have your own mindset. And when he says God's will, whew, I hope y'all hear this. When he says about God's will, like what is God's will, Fonzo? What does that even mean? It's basically what God wants for you. What is it that, that, that God wants you to have in your life? What does it look like? When's the last time you asked yourself that? What is it that you want God for you? Have you ever talked to him and prayed about, God, I, I, I wanna be more like you. I wanna look like you. I wanna resemble like you. What do you want from my day? How does that look? And this is what Paul is kind of trying to highlight into all the, the, the Christians and all the non-believers. He's basically saying, you, you're, you're trying to be like others and you're trying to be like yourself. And you're constantly in this chase of, hey, I'm never going to be enough. And I want you guys to understand this. And this is the bottom line. I can be like me because God loves me. Okay, let me, let me say it again because this is the bottom line. If I can like me, God can love me. So if you can like yourself and not the world, God will love you. So we got to understand that in, in Romans chapter 12, verse 6. Get to that page. Get to that page. Click on that page. It says here. In, in his grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as he has given you. And I'm, I want to give it to you in another sense with the message Bible here. It says here, let's just go ahead and be what we are made to be without envious or prideful comparing ourselves with each other or trying to be something we aren't. If you preach, just preach the message, God's, nothing less. So you are more than enough. That's what basically he's saying. You are more than enough. God has allowed you to be crafted in his image. Not Bob. You're not, you're not made by Bob. You're not made by Billy or Chuck or Ashley. You're, you're made by God's image. He crafted you to be different, to be unique. So you gotta be able to walk in that. And I know you're asking, Fonzo, how can I implement this? How can I add this to my life? So I, I, want, I, want, you, I want to give you two things right here. The first thing is to invite God into the way that you think. How does that look? Okay. So the, the way that this look is you basically ask God, God, I want to be more like you. I want to think like you. How can I? He'll begin to whisper or shout to you. And if you still feel like just because just you, you prayed to God, you feel like you still don't have that connection, ask your church, your church leaders. Ask the people that are around you that you, you, you have confidence in that, that will give you sound mind and sound information. Or your parents, if you have questions of, man, I feel like, like I'm slipping away and I, I'm not in touch with God. Communicate that with your parents and your fellow classmates. And the second thing is, is to repent. Okay, whoa, you just dropped the bomb. Why are we repenting and what is repenting? You want to be able to speak out on the things that you want to change. And that's what you're, you're, you're repenting on. You're repenting on the things that you want to see change. If you feel like you, you want to be better as a, as a student, you, you want to say, God, I, I'm, I'm tired of being this horrible student. I'm tired of getting all these bad grades. 
God, I want to be smarter. I want to I want to study more. I want to be a, a student that our, our teachers can look up to. And, and that's the thing about repenting. You're changing the way that you used to be. You're changing the way that you used to act. So you're, you're changing the whole thought of how you're looking and how you res, resent, res, represent everyone else. So you want to be able to have that that patience and and talk to God and have that relationship. For, so for this week, you, you want to be more like yourself. You are made by God. So you are different. You are unique. You are awesome. And I, I want to thank you guys for watching and stay around for the next week episode.